Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can find whether there is a change document object assigned to a particular data element, okay? Uh, because lot, lots of times you, you make changes on a certain field, but it doesn't get registered in CDHDR or CDPOS. Let me show what I'm talking about. So if I go to SCB11, okay, and suppose I want to go and find the table EKPO and I want to check or I'll go to Mara, okay. So this is Material Master and if I go to MATNR, if I double click, here you will see this is, this is the change document. So if this is enabled, that means any changes that are being done will be caught, okay. Now there are certain certain transactions certain fields that doesn't get a register like this one there i know this this one is a not this one there is a field kzbar okay so here if you see the change document is not activated so from so this way you can find whether not every field but if there is a change made it will get registered so if i want to put some other fields so suppose i put i just put in spar spar is a data element and here you see this is physical inventory block indicator now if i want to see other field like hello evm which is like the deletion indicator so here you can see this is another whenever this is disabled that means those changes will not be registered now you cannot make it registered automatically you cannot change this because this is standard SAP and there's a reason they did that okay. so if you want to do something outside of this you probably want to build custom fields and play with it okay so that's it stay tuned to my SAP channel I'm happy SAP learning and if you like share and subscribe to it and have a